Hello Dr. Glover, in this video I'm going to talk about how much exercise is enough for your dog. All that and more including Esther coming up. Hello Dr. Glover, my name is Sarah, I'm a dog trainer, also coach dog owners. If this is your first time, welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about how much exercise is enough for your dog and how much to exercise your dog in general. I have done a separate video that I talk about how to exercise your puppy or how long and how much to exercise your puppy which I'm going to link that video right here you can go ahead and watch that. Now exercise for dog is an activity that is one of the first thing a dog needs. In my opinion dogs need five essential needs which is exercise, training, socialization, care and then affection. So exercise is number one. You have to exercise your dog daily. There's no weekend, there's no day off for your dog. They always need to be exercised. Every day somehow you have to be able to physically and mentally exercise your dog. But before you get started on exercising your dog, here are some tips that I want you to consider and understand how much is a good amount of exercise for your dog. So it all depends on your dog's age, size, breed. So for instance, a bulldog shouldn't be exercised as the same amount as a border collie should be exercising. A bulldog has a very flat muzzle, it has a hard time breathing, the legs are short, they can't really move much. Although a healthy and happy bulldog will run and play all the time, but it doesn't mean that they can go for a long time. So they need a shorter amount of exercise compared to Poodle, which is Esther, who has longer legs, a longer body, and she is actually bred to exercise and do physical activities easily. Now there's a difference between over-exercising and under-exercising. Over-exercising a dog can cause physical health issues to develop and stress can build up in your dog if your dog is over-exercised. Too little exercise, not enough exercise can cause your dog to develop pent-up energy and also build stress because of lack of enough mental and physical stimulation. So to develop a healthy and balanced amount of exercise routine for your dog, I suggest you to be more realistic and find out what is the ideal amount of exercise that you can provide for your dog. Not because your dog is being bred for certain task and desire, doesn't give you any clue of how much you should exercise your dog. I suggest you to go with what you can afford what you can offer to your dog on regular basis every day. So if you can afford, let's say, half an hour a day every day, stick with half an hour a day. If you can afford one hour a day, provide one hour of daily exercise for your dog. So the ideal amount is not less than half an hour and not more than an hour. Too much of exercise for your dog, which is more than an hour, can cause your dog to develop a behavioral issue that will make your dog to be not able to relax easily and often. So your dog may be always in the go-go state of mind if you exercise more than an hour. Dogs in general, although their ancestors were wolves, they are domesticated pets. Their body and their structure is different than wolves. They are not designed to hunt or migrate all the time. They are designed to live with humans in human society in a domesticated environment, in a city urban environment. So they are not designed to do much of activities all the time. They are not hunters and they're not migrating all the time. So for instance, if you watch some programs that are animal related, you will see that they only move or do some physical activity when they are hungry. They only do activities when they are trying to feed themselves. So they hunt for a very short time and if they're successful, they will eat the hunt or if they're not successful, they will leave it for next time. They won't go for hours and hours to hunt and get 
tired physically. So therefore you want to make sure that you're not forcing your dog to do too much of physical and mental activity. One hour of exercise of playing with other dogs, walking, playing with you, playing with their toys, playing mental games, all these things can be exercise. Exercise doesn't have to be basically just going and walking. You can include many other activities in the exercise routine itself. You just want to make sure that your dog's heart rate, it stays high or up for at least half an hour a day to provide some health benefits from the exercise as well. So tell me, how long do you exercise your dog? Are you exercising your dog two or three hours a day? Or do you exercise your dog only on the weekends? If you have any questions, leave those questions and the comments in the comments below. And you remember, if you want to have a great, healthy and happy, well-behaved dog, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon as well so you will get notified as soon as I post my next video. Until next time, have fun with your dog. What a good girl. You do really good. Just wanted to let you know that my online dog training course is available now it's where you can learn how to train your dog using play and praise reward system without the use of treat food aversive tools force or domination to learn more click here if you want to watch another video of mine click here and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click here